Hello, welcome back to Tiny Nest. I'm Kiva. And I'm Jake. This is another episode in our building series. In this episode, we show how we install our bathroom sink. If you're following us at the time that we published this video, you'll know that it's been quite some time since our last entry in the building series. So we're just catching up on a bunch of old footage and we couldn't really find much about installing the cabinet itself. We do have a couple pictures of when we were sleeving it over the plumbing stub outs and that was just drilling some holes that lined up properly. And then other than that, we just kind of rammed it in the corner uh, and used all the hardware that was included following the instructions. It's just an Ikea product, so there's nothing uh, really that you're missing by us skipping over that. So we're gonna get straight into the sink installation. And then if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll talk about some of the pros and cons that we found about this sink, uh, having used it for quite a while now. I'm just having a look at the faucet that we have for the bathroom sink. So we just ordered this off Amazon. Um, we didn't get it from a local like Home Depot or whatever because they didn't seem to have um, one that was this dark like bronze look which sort of goes with the theme that we've ended up with here and that was a one hole mount. Um, there's a lot of faucets where there's like the valves, each valve has its own hole and then the main faucet goes in the center but this is the, uh, the Ikea sink we have, so obviously we needed something that would just go for the one hole. So in the box, we've got the faucet. Uh, there's a threaded sort of insert here that's going to actually cinch down uh, with this nut. And there's a uh, gasket there. And then the two, the hot and cold um, inlet hoses basically. So these will each thread into the two holes here. This will sleeve over it, and then that passes through with the gasket, and then you tighten it from the other side. It's basically just sort of figuring it out based on what's in the box, and I'm gonna see about getting it on here. And since we don't have the sink secured to the cabinet, I figured it'd be easier to just work on it like this, and then just put the whole thing down rather than you know, working in the tight space that is the toilet room. Well, that was a bit awkward. The way that the, the little hoses go in there, there's hardly any room to get at the, uh, the hex, like, nut portion. And I have these big clunky channel locks, I couldn't fit those in, and I couldn't get this uh, crescent wrench in there either. And I was looking at the wrenches that we have and nothing seemed to fit properly. The closest thing was an 11 millimeter, and it doesn't really fit perfectly. It's a little bit loose, but anyway, it was the closest thing I could get to actually get in there and grab it, because obviously I want these to be pretty tight. Um, so that they don't leak and they're gonna be really hard to get at. So there was a leak and to pull the whole thing apart. Anyway, that seemed to work well enough. So that was a bit of a adventure getting that on. But now I'm going to sleeve this through. Hopefully, oh my God, this better go through. Yeah, okay, there we go. This gasket, sleeve over that. So this should go in like that. And then I just need to tighten that down so that it's straight. And that gasket will prevent any splashing from getting into the cabinet area underneath. So we've got this guy. And I guess it's just gonna go on that way. Yeah, I can't imagine any other way that that would work. Ugh. And once again, I'm in a situation where I can't really get anything to grab one of those nuts, so what I might actually do is actually, uh, turn the faucet itself 
All right, I messed with it a bit there. Since I can't tighten it from this side, I basically just played with it until when I tightened down the faucet, like cranked it until it came straight, that it was really tight. And now it seems fairly secure. It's pretty tight. It's not going anywhere. We're going to place the sink basin onto the cabinetry and we're going to use the some silicone caulk uh, on the top edge of the cabinet basically on here and then carefully lay the basin onto it and then that will kind of stick it down and then we'll also put some around where the basin meets the wall so that drops of water can't trickle in behind there So I just realized after I put it down that um, I guess because of the way we have the cabinet mounted like right up against the wall, which I mean the brackets are seem to be meant to do it that way, but uh, the sink um, like footprint is bigger than um, the cabinets. So this part of uh, like the front edge of the sink is actually not making contact with the top of this cross piece. So, uh, not that it's gonna hurt anything, but the silicone on top there isn't doing anything. Luckily, this edge um, is just barely making pretty solid contact with the, this, and obviously the back, uh, this piece, the top of this piece is making contact. So, it's probably fine, but it would have been nice to have the front edge uh, touching as well. Okay, I'm going to try to tackle the faucet hookup. So I got the hoses here from when I uh, put the faucet onto the sink. They're ready to hook up and I have what I believe to be the correct fittings here. So this is just a thread uh, that will accept the hose and then the other end is a half inch PEX barb so I just need to get that into the PEX. Uh, these hoses are pretty short so what my plan is is that I'll cut both of these and then use a 90 uh, to shoot a small stub upwards and then on the end of that is where this fitting will go and so you know they'll be up here and these will screw on up there. I have a towel here, just in case there's a disaster. Basically, uh, the way that this piping is, like we've had the system charged with water pressure, and these ends are at the low end of a, a run that goes up towards the shower, so I believe there's going to be water in them. Um, I'm not really sure how much, but I've got a towel and i got a bowl here. I'm gonna try to uh, prevent a, a huge spillage disaster. So, I'll just cut this bad boy right about here, I guess. God, I have the fear right now. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> oh, it squirted all over the wall. So I'll just crimp down this little contraption and I'll do the same with the hot and then I can just slip it into place and uh, or I can even thread it on first just to make sure it's all going to be good and then just slide it in and do that last crimp down here. So I have the fewest amounts of crimps to do in the tight space here. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I just tightened basically these ends on up here and I could get two wrenches and make sure they were tight without putting any strain on the fittings. And now I'm ready to 
curve these guys on here. So I will go like this. Put that guy in there. And let's see if I can't get a decent crimp on here. Okay, that should be good. Um, obviously, these stubs are a little bit loose. Like, I don't know if the pressure, you know, when you, when the tap gets turned on, if the pressure and the water flow will like shake these around or whatever, but uh, we might put, we could always put a block and a strap or something to hold them in place. But um, I think we'll have to test it before we go any further. We have water and we checked all of the connections for any leaks or anything and we've just done the cold so far. And now we're testing the hot. Warm. It's hot. A couple things that we really like about the sink are mainly the size of it. It fits perfectly in our bathroom. Uh, secondly, I really like the shelf that's inside the sink. We put our soap on it so you can get soap for your hands and it doesn't kind of splash everywhere. The faucet is working really well. The main thing that I dislike about this sink is kind of to do with the placement of this cabinet here, which we'll talk about in another video. It doesn't have enough space for me to kind of like get my face in here to wash my face. So I end up just kind of like awkwardly standing here and like water kind of drips down the front of the cabinet and onto the floor. So after I wash my face, I end up having to kind of mop up the floor as well. My equivalent to Kiva's face washing issue is shaving. So I just use a really basic electric buzzer thing. So I have dry stubble falling off and it, it's the same issue with you know, I need to look in the mirror to see what I'm doing, but I can only get so close, so it would just kind of fall everywhere. And I solved that issue by just getting a little handheld mirror, and then I just ram my head into the, uh, underneath the medicine cabinet and look in the, that mirror to see what I'm doing. And at first that felt pretty awkward, but I got used to it really fast, so I don't mind that at all, really. Um, another thing that's not really an issue with the sink, but is an issue for us, is that our water is hard and has stuff in it like uh, minerals and iron and so it uh, stains really easily. So we're often scrubbing that to try to make it look clean. Uh, it just looks a lot dirtier than it is often. And that goes for our hand towels as well. Like these look really nasty and dirty, but it's just the color from the water, um, like the natural color of the water. And that also brings me to my one criticism that I have of this as a product, which is that this inner portion of the drain is actually like a plastic with a chrome paint or coating on it of sorts. And so when I was in here with an abrasive uh, scrubber sponge cleaning off the hard water, I went at it really hard and uh, without knowing that and ended up tearing a bunch of the paint off of it. So it looks all kind of run down. And it's just one of those things where it's like, we could probably could seek out a replacement part from Ikea, I guess maybe, but it's just such a minor thing, so we're just living with this sort of ratty looking part of the drain. And one last thing I want to mention is that we never intended to leave just this wood as the backing, because obviously the water splashes all over that and it gets kind of dirty. Uh, we want to put tile all along the back here and on this wall as well, so uh, we'll be showing that in an upcoming video if we get around to finishing that off. Thanks for watching! Subscribe if you like what we're doing here and turn on email notifications so you never miss a video. You can also find extra resources in the description below. We spend countless hours making these videos for YouTube. So if you appreciate our work, take three minutes to watch the video in the top left tile to learn some ways that you can support us for free. We'd really appreciate it.